One woman is in custody, another man on the run after the Lafayette Sheriff's Office breaks up what it calls a meth cooking operation. Good evening. I'm Eric Franke. And I'm Maria Guerrero. Authorities raided the home last night just blocks from a school in the village of Gratiot. That's in Lafayette County. News 3's Brad Chameson joins us live with the latest on this investigation. Brad? Maria and Eric, the meth labs in southwest Wisconsin were a problem in years past, but authorities say that has since died down. In this case, neighbors are calling this shocking that it was happening so close. We knew that they had, you know, like marijuana and stuff, but that's about all I thought they actually had. Across the street from Corinne Steets's home in Gratiot, deputies executed a search warrant. A meth lab operating in the village of 225 people caught the community off guard. We kind of look out for everybody's kids and everybody, and... You know, this, like I said, this is a really shock for the whole neighborhood, I think. It's a small community. Everybody knows everybody related. You're, you know, see people go in and out. You talk to them. But, like I said, what goes on in people's houses, you know, you don't know. Wednesday night, Lafayette Sheriff's deputies alongside Monroe Police seized an alleged meth lab at the home of Bobette and Jeremy Herbst. This appears to be a fairly well-organized uh, effort on their part to uh, produce these dangerous substances. Bobette was arrested in nearby Wyota Township. Jeremy is still at large. Police are urging him to turn himself in. If he chooses not to, then we will find him by other means. What concerns officials is that this lab is unlike most discovered in the past. We've had literally dozens of methamphetamine labs in the county since the late 1990s. We have had only two of the red phosphorus labs. Red phosphorus is found in household items like match heads. It could be a new problem. We believe that uh, we will be seeing more and more of it as security on anhydrous ammonia supplies is tightened. Uh, this is an option that the uh, meth cookers are turning to. The bust is concerning to residents, but at least they know it's done. This isn't what small town America is about. And the red phosphorus, that can be found in some fireworks and smoke bombs in addition to those match heads. So it can be easier to obtain for somebody that's trying to do some of this. Now, again, it was back in the late 90s when these meth labs and grants in Lafayette County were really a big problem. But they, haven't, they aren't seeing as many as they had seen in the past. In fact, they haven't seen many lately at all. So the sheriff is hoping this is not a trend that says it's too certain to tell. All right, Brad James, you're reporting in our Rock County Bureau tonight, Brad. Thank you very much.